So this is the front of my house and we seem to have a family of squirrels moved into the roof space above the porch here. So I thought I'd use this thing, which is the Fleur One thermal imaging attachment for your phone, to see if I can spot exactly where they're nesting. Now, they seem to be spending a lot of time quite active in the mornings, waking us up quite early, running around on the roof space, looking through the windows, and generally being quite mischievous. Um, but we're not too worried about it. We're gonna leave them there for now, and hopefully they'll be fine. Um, but I thought it'd be really interesting to see if we can spot exactly where they are under that roof space. Now I've got up on some steps to try and get a bit closer to the action uh, to see if I can see where the squirrels are getting in and out of the roof space and I'm pretty sure that it's under the tiles here and I can hear them inside I don't know whether you can hear them as well yep they don't sound too happy that I'm here um, so I'll get back down um, get the thermal imager out and see if we can see any hot spots oh there we go <laughs> see if we can get any hot spots um, on the ceiling below. I'm now in the porch under the squirrels and if I pan the camera up you can see that there are no obvious signs where the squirrels are but let's fit the thermal imaging attachment to the phone now and see if we can spot a difference. So we switched over to thermal imaging and there's the front door and if I pan around up to the mirror you should be able to see me reflected. Hello! Now, if we pan up to the ceiling, we can have a look and see if we can see any hot spots. Now, there's nothing up this end. As, as I pan along, we can see there, there's the light fitting, so that's pretty obvious. But as I move over to the far corner of the porch, what do we see? Look, definitely a hot spot over there. And that's pretty much exactly the position that I thought that the squirrels would probably be in. So it just goes to show that the Fleur One is really useful for this kind of thing. 